Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. So for today's review, I'm going to be sharing a way, at least on the Android side, to uh, share how to create that tiled effect that you see on Instagram. So it could be a 3 by one row of um, the same picture, or 3 by 2 or 3 by 3 whatever have you, but there's a variety of different options that are available. On the Android side, or on the iOS side, I'm figuring it's about the same if you search the iOS app store for... Uh, grid maker for Instagram or tiles for Instagram, something along those lines to find a related set of apps. But I didn't see a matching app for or the same app that I am going to be using on the Android side for iOS. So that is why I'm giving that disclaimer. So let's jump right into it. So when you open Grid Maker, you do get uh, free or the free version of the app is available in the Google Play Store, and for 99 cents you can um, buy it and remove ads. In order to get started, all you have to do is select Open Gallery and pick the image that you want to use. So I'll use this first one. The default is a 3x3 three three set of grids, which you can um, zoom in and out to select a particular area of the image. You can move it around like that. Um, from here, or before that though, you do have the options on the bottom to select various size options. So 2x1, two 2x2. Two two. Um, so depending on how many images you want to share, then you have that option. So for um, this particular image, I'm going to select the 3 by 2 um, option so it shows up properly on um, Instagram. And I'm going to zoom in all the way for this particular image. I'm going to, I don't really need anything here on the bottom. So um, I've zoomed all the way in and actually I could probably just do that um, part there. The image isn't going to be as centered as I want, but it works out nicely. But let's say I just wanted to do a 2 by one um, um, grid then I can do that it'll split it into two tiles and you can go up to in this app three by six so if you want to have a whole lot of tiles and you want to split up your image um, by that much you have that option so going back to my original thought process I'm going to use a three by two um, grid option and then from here you'll hit done and you'll get a nice little screen here where it says tap the picture each pic so you can post them in the correct order. They give you the nice numbering scheme so you don't even need to figure out or remember what order to go in. And from here, when you hit the one, it'll give you the option to share um, to your feed or to Instagram stories. So I'm just going to post this to my feed. So from here, you get your first tile. You can add any filters that you want. And then you'll post each picture just like you would normally do an individual post. So I'm going to create the actual post. So this picture that I took was in the Antelope Canyon. And my post is going to be a uh, candle or uh, let's say chess uh, bish up. Uh, question mark and that's all that you have to do from here and now for a personal pet peeve of mine it's kind of annoying when I see a picture I'm not quite sure what it is only to go in and see that it was a tiled picture so for myself I actually prefer to um, put in the tile and the tile number so I'll let's say, do something like um, IG tile one of six and from here, you're going to select everything and hit copy. So that way, each post, I'll, I just have to paste in the text, change the tile number, and that way you know that or so if someone else is reading it for personal peace of mind, they'll know that it's a specific tile number. So I'll hit share, um, let the post finish up. And then you just hit, for me, on my phone, I just hit the back button. It'll take me back to... Uh, grid maker so I can continue and go into each remaining post so I'll hit paste and I'll change the one to a two hit share and it'll finish up once the post shows up go back and basically for as many images as you're going to be splitting your image up into you'll have to make that many posts and if you're going the route of um, including the tile number then you'll need to include the tile number as well so um, there is that as well and so it does get kind of annoying if you're doing anything more than let's say a three by one grid because you do have to post um, the picture that many times so for me that's also kind of where um, copying and pasting the um, caption comes into play because for me I want to have the same um, comment but I don't want to have to type it in every single time so uh, copying and pasting does come into play very much so so 
um, once you have that posted, I will actually jump into um, showing what it looks like. So we're down to my last one. So we'll hit feed and post the last one. Although this last one is mostly just uh, black square, so um, it's not really much to post, but um, it's nice to know that, or nice to know that it's belonging to a group. So once you're done, now I'm back to uh, Grid Maker, so I'll hit the back button and it'll ask you if you're done posting. You hit yes, and in this case, because I do have the free version, it'll give me a uh, ad. I don't think that's very consistent as far as how often they show up. But now that I'm done, I'm going to go into Instagram, and I'm going to click on my profile, and you'll see that my image that I just took or that I just posted has shown up as a grid. So I can click on the individual ones. I can zoom in and out if I want and um there is that you'll see a picture that i posted yesterday that's a three by one grid um with the caption of a full moon in hiding and i have the tile number so that way people know that um which specific tile number it is i did one a two by one grid here um as an example so there's a couple of different options going on and it's a pretty nifty way to have a tile or create a tile from your individual pictures I did a picture or one the other day for The Walking Dead with uh, with uh, or from episode one Days Gone By, season one episode eight, or specifically when Rick is going riding the horse into Atlanta. So um, you get a little bit of each of uh, each tile has a little bit of that specific picture. So overall, a pretty interesting app. So that's Grid Maker for Instagram, available for Google or available for Android and Google Play. So if you want to check out the image for yourself, my Instagram profile is um, app is Patel N01. I think it's Instagram.com slash Patel N01. If you have any questions or comments, you can, of course, post a comment on one of the pictures on Instagram or find me on Twitter at Patel N01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in. And if you want to get this review or more and more reviews, be sure to visit the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Patel N01. If you want to get this review early and or deliver to your podcast client of uh, choice, as audio, be sure to support the show on uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.